Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm doing a reading for all signs, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you do is we also have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks. So, two cards for the collective. We have number 43 with Honor the Light, and number 19 with Time to Cross the Threshold. Okay, so this is, what this one talks about is change, right? You're going on into a new phase, new beginning. There's a lot of unknown territory that you're stepping into, a lot of challenges as well. It's telling you to trust in it. Don't really, you know, fight it or, or run away from it. It's it's time for it, right? This talks about you honoring yourself, honoring yourself as a light worker, honoring the light in you. All right, so let's do Aries. What is Aries' person's current feelings towards Aries, please? Okay, we have the Seven of Cups Averse, Knight of Swords Averse. Nine of Wands averse. Their feelings is you're the one that they want, Aries. However, their feelings is to not speak to you and to give up at the same time. So they know they want you. They're just not speaking to you or speaking to you very little and applying very little effort into the connection. That's their, their feelings as of what they're doing. So let's see messages for you. So, we have Ascend, Appreciate, Fear, Self-Worth, Make the Effort, True Love, Deception, Number One with Main Males, so that could be you or your person, Aries, it's tell- now, let's say if your person is a deceptive person, or if they, you know, they, they're they not that great. Have self-worth and move on from that. Don't, don't do that. Now, let's say if your, your person's not that. You're gonna have to be the one that makes the effort, that makes that more initiation for this to actually work. Because I don't really see them doing much of anything. Alright, let's move on. The sign of Taurus. So, what is Taurus' this person's current feelings towards Taurus? You got very similar cards to Aries. You have the Nine of Wands verse. Sun card reverse, that is Leo energy. The Knight of Swords reverse, Taurus. So yours is, yours is unhappy with you. And that's the reason why they're not speaking to you. That's the reason why they're not applying effort. That's the reason why they're not doing anything at all. It's because they do not feel happy with you. And that is in their feelings. messages for you. So Taurus, we have healing. Feminine, transformation, 
fall. Reconciliation. This could be the one. Honeymoon. Number 13. Wealthy man, so that could be you or your person, of course. Uh, you could end up reconciling with this person or like fixing things between you and them, most likely in the season of fall. Now, this could lead into a lot of things. This could actually be a good relationship. That is entirely up to you, however, or what you want. You're not particularly forced in that. So let's move on to the sign of Gemini. So what is Gemini's person's current feelings towards Gemini? We have the Page of Pentacles, the verse. Ace of Swords, the verse. Star card reverse, that is Aquarius energy, so their their feelings is... You're not going to like this reading, but I'm sorry, that's just what came up. Their feelings is you're not truthful, or you don't really speak a whole lot, or, or there was not clear communication. Ace of Swords reverse, right? Um, so they're deciding to be more selfish, not really give to this connection, be more about themselves, and they don't really have a lot of hope in this connection. Let's see messages for you, Gemini. So we have summer, which makes sense. A vibration, lessons, journal, let go of control issues, pay attention to the red flags, calling in your soulmates, number 14 with message of concern. So you might receive some sort of concerning news about this person or some concerning message. I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, Gemini, you're going to be calling in someone a lot better than this person. Feels like this person is just meant to teach you lessons. And you really need to pay attention to the red flags that come with this person that you're currently dealing with. Alright. So. Let's move on to the sign of Cancer. So what is Cancer's person's current feelings towards cancer. Look at that, cancer having the first good reading so far. <laughs> we have the moon reverse. Lovers, it's Gemini energy. And the Four of Wands, so their feelings is they love you, Cancer. They want to be with you, Four of Wands, the lovers. I feel like it gets revealed that they love you. Or revealed even more. Like, they're, they're, there's going to be more expression from this person. Moon, Reverse, Lovers, Four of Wands, right? This person has deep feelings for you, and you're going to learn more of that, or you're going to find that out. Let's see messages for you, Cancer.
the material world. Hesitation. Beliefs. Fertility. So for those of you that are fertile. Flirt. Worth waiting for. Let your friends help you. Number 33 with concern. Maybe you need, like, friends to help you with this. Uh, Cancer, focus on your money for now, because for your love, it seems fine. Maybe you have some concerns about it, or you have some sort of hesitation to get into this relationship, or to progress it, whatever it is. But it seems fine. Alright, so let's move on to the sign of Leo. What is Leo's person's current feelings towards Leo, please? Leo's person's current feelings towards Leo. These are good cards. You have a star, which is Aquarius energy. Knight of Swords. The Sun, Leo energy. So this, this person... Ooh. They want to speak to you, they want to rush in with communication. Um, Leo, this person thinks very positive of you. Okay, this isn't like some of the other signs where... And that was the opposite. They think very highly of you, they have a lot of hopes for this connection, or they really like this connection with you, or they like you. Plain and simple. You make them happy. Let's see messages for you. So, Leo, we have destruction, split energy, mirroring, hidden path, trust, heart to heart conversations, engagement. Number five with mature man, so that could be you or your person. Leo, ooh, you mirror this person a lot. This could lead to a relationship or engagement, if you, if you two were to speak more or talk about it, either way. Leo, these are pretty good cards. Now, split energy destruction, the reason why that's there is because it can go either way, whichever way you play the cards, essentially. So, let's move on to the sign of Virgo. What is Virgo's person's current feelings towards Virgo? Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, verse. Seven of Cups, Virgo. Their, their feelings, their feelings is they have feelings for someone else. Uh, unfortunately. Seven of Cups, upright. Three of Pentacles, verse. You know that there's someone else in this equation that they have feelings for, or that they're dealing with. Page of Pentacles. They view you more as a friend than anything. Like their feelings for you is not that strong, unfortunately. Uh. Let's see messages for you.
So oh, Virgo, we have observe, control, potential, denial. It is safe for you to love. Playfulness, new love, number 24 with Thief. So maybe your person was that. Uh, you got new love coming in, and that's the best thing about your reading, is someone newer than what you're currently dealing with. And it's going to be safe for you to be open towards this person. There's going to be a lot of potential. And with this current connection, I'd kind of let that go. Stop trying to force it to work if it's not working. So, let's move on to sign of Libra. So what is Libra's person's current feelings towards Libra? What is Libra's person's current feelings towards Libra, please? We have the Seven of Pentacles, averse. Six of Swords, averse. These Pentacles, Libra, their feelings is they can't let you go. They want something to grow between you and them, but they also feel like you're a waste of time, or they're wasting their time on you, so... <laughs> Let's just see messages for you, Libra. So we have rise above, travel, surrender, no, soulmate, love yourself first, children, number 20 with house, something about children, houses, whatever. So Libra, this is kind of like a soulmate energy to you. However, it's time to kind of put yourself first. Love yourself first. Maybe even travel or explore more. We get this travel card here. Okay. So let's move on to the sign of Scorpio. So what is Scorpio's person's current feelings towards Scorpio? We have the Four of Cups, King of Wands, Averse, that is Fire Energy, with the Three of Swords, Averse, so Scorpio, their feelings is they're, they're over you, they're done rejecting you, or they're over the hurt that you caused, Three of Swords, Averse. I see this person being very inconsistent, Scorpio. King of Wands verse. That is someone who's very inconsistent. It can be an unfaithful energy. It can be even how they view you. I see them kind of. I see them kind of getting bored of the connection, Scorpio. So let's see what messages for you.
So we have inner child. Blessings. Solitude. Sacred journey. Passion. Stay optimistic about your love life. Release your ex. And then we have number 11 with Southern Will. So the best thing about your reading, um, I keep wanting to say other na names, Scorpio. Money. Big increase in money. Now it's telling you to release the ex. That's not where your, your love is going to be. Stay optimistic because you're going to have other people in your life, obviously, besides just an ex. Right now, what's best for you is to kind of have some space to yourself. Solitude. Alright, so let's move on to Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius's person's? Current feelings towards Sagittarius. We have five of pants, cones reverse. Three of wands. Nine of swords reverse, so their feelings is to return to you, to come out of the cold. Like, Five of Pentacles reverse, that can be coming out of the cold, right? They're waiting for you. Their feelings is to stop worrying about you. They want to return to you. And they're also waiting. Let's see messages for you. So we have separation, unrequited love, free yourself, cycles, chaser, masculine, balance, number eight with false person, Sagittarius, quit applying your energy towards this person, he in fact kind of Stop, stop applying effort towards them. This may even be a fake person or someone who comes wrong around you for long, wrong reasons. And it's also a little bit one-sided, so Sagittarius kind of leave this alone. Plain and simple. It's like someone who that you're separated from. Let's move on to sign of Capricorn. So what is Capricorn's person's current feelings towards Capricorn? We have the Ten of Wands, a verse. Nine of Cups, a verse. Eight of Swords. They're very in their head about you, but they're also quite disappointed about you as well, and they're wanting to release you because they feel like you're a burden. And that's their feelings. So let's see, messages for you, Capricorn.
We have family. Soulmates. Separation. Offer. Religious factors. Healing family issues. Past life relationship. Number 26 with great fortune. So Capricorn, look at this. Big money coming your way. Now, for the ones that had a family with this person, you could actually end up fixing things between you and them. You might even receive an offer to fix things between you and them. Um, kind of like a soulmate energy to you. The person that you're, you're currently dealing with, at some point, is going to make an offer towards you. Right? An offer of love. That sort of thing. Someone that you may be separated from or in separation with. So let's move on to the sign of Aquarius. So what is Aquarius' this person's current feelings towards Aquarius? person don't even know what they want. We have five of pentacles of verse. Ten of swords. And the hermit. The hermit is Virgo energy, so their feelings is it's it's done, it's ended, you know, they want to be distant, but at the same time they want to return to you. Five of pentacles of verse. The hermit. So they want to be distant, but they also want to return to you at the same time. Yeah. Let's see messages for you, Aquarius. We have receive, forgive, memories, spring, wedding, very soon, romantic feelings. Number 32 with despair, so this person is quite in a bit of despair. <laughs> Without you, Aquarius. Um, you could have a chance to work things out with them, however, very soon. Like, the feelings are still there, and it could actually lead to marriage in spring. Or something about the season of spring. Maybe that's when you actually forgive them and work things out either way. Spring is of significance, and it's next spring. Obviously. So let's move on to the sign of Pisces, and then that'll be the last sign. What is Pisces person's current feelings towards Pisces, please? We have the King of Wands, that is fire energy. The Tower, Page of Wands. So their, their feelings is they want you, Pisces. I want to take action towards you. It's like they felt this all very unexpectedly. The tower. It's like all of a sudden, boom, they have like a, a fire lit underneath of them. They want to speak to you. They, they basically want you, Pisces. Let's see messages for you. So you have Runner, Union, Sacred Space, Free Will, Chemistry, 
retreat for giving you learning. Number nine, the change. Okay, Pisces, you know, this is all your free will and what you do with them. You could forgive them or, you know, fix things between you and them. You could you, uh, come into union with them. Or you could do the opposite and just run away from them. That's all up to you. All right. So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.